Most people come to Melbourne, they see the central business district, the towers everywhere. It's a beautiful site, but sometimes you need to discover the, the little alleys, the little lanes in there. And Monique is taking me on one such tour. It's Walk Melbourne, isn't it? That's right. Walk Melbourne, and we discovered that we have a common love, which is coffee. It's true. There's this culture, you don't, you don't have the big global coffee chains I notice here. Uh, we do have a couple of them, um, yeah. but they haven't done very well here. And that's because Melburnians like to have their own little independent mm. cafes where they talk to the baristas, the barista can tell them about the beans, how he makes them, um, and that's really what we love. So it's not just a grab a coffee and run kind of coffee, and so you sit there. Heard a lot about the coffee culture in Melbourne. So I'm going to talk to Sean who loves coffees, but he's got quite the perfect combination. He loves coffee and he loves crickets. He's got to be a nice guy. <laughs> That's true. But tell, me, tell me about the coffees you've given us. Uh, so I've given you guys just a couple of espressos because it's um, probably the easiest way to taste the uniqueness in coffee. We've got this constant debate among coffee yeah. drinkers. Milk or no milk, sugar or no sugar? No sugar. Um, no sugar? Yeah, no, I think... Oh dear. How are you going to deal with that? No, because I always fought my arguments yeah. as no milk, yes sugar. Uh, Do you want milk, to change? Milk I'm okay with, oh. um, but sugar... I think that, I mean, we, what use, does sugar we do? use a specific sugar. Um, yes, but you do use sugar. I mean, it's not anything, it's not bad sugar. I think it masks flavor a little bit. Um, I think coffee... I'm not winning this one, am I? Uh, I'm trying to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we sitting on the road on one of these, these milk things? Crates. This yeah. is the way you do it. Is it? Um, sitting on milk crates. So we're right, okay. in the, we're right in the middle of the banking and legal districts. Um, quite, this is uh, very frequented by locals rather than visitors. It's yes. a very local experience. And Patricia really started the idea in Melbourne of a cafe that is standing room only. So these that we're sitting on are the only seats. Bankers and legal people. Yeah. Is, is this their way of getting back at them, saying, we'll make you sit on this for your coffee? No, this is quite popular and common yeah. for the, the yeah. only seating around to be, um, to be milk crates. Um, is this so reverse? Is this sort of reverse snobbery? Reverse chic? Well, it, it, it's reverse chic, that's reverse right. Reverse yeah. chic. It has yeah, its own okay. snobbery. Now this, you say, has got a citrusy mm. flavour to it. We have never had coffee with anything to do with the citrus flavor, mm. does it? it? Smell first. Yeah. This Can is a very, the diff very different smell. Coffee. coffee, citrus, okay. Do you find it? Yeah. Mm. It's a little bit like the peel or the pith of an orange right yes. now for me. That's what I get, mm. exactly. I've never tasted coffee like this. There's espresso, there's filter, and now I've learned something new today. A freshly made filter coffee with slightly citrusy tang. Do you know what I'm going to do? When I have this coffee, I'm quietly going to slip away from Monique I'm going to give her a newspaper to read and I'm quickly going to add some sugar. Kind <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> of you like, I don't know. <laughs> See, he doesn't mind, then you do. 